In this video, I'm going to show you how to set a sale price for products with multiple variants. So first of all, go to Shopify account, go to products and open a product which has multiple variants. In my case, it's this one, Clayplant Pot, it has two variants. So let's open it. Then once the product loads, scroll somewhere to the middle and look for variant section and then click on edit. So in here, um, select one of the variants. In my case, I have regular and large. So let's start with regular and look for the pricing section. In here, you'll see three fields, price, compared price and cost per item. Cost per item is generally the cost that you pay to the wholesaler or the distributor for the, for the product. You can leave it blank or you can type in the value here. Um, and so to create a sale, uh, what you have to do is um, um, set your uh, compared price as your price. So let's copy the price and paste in the compared price field. And let's say if we want to uh, create a sale, let's say sell the product for $6. We'll just type in six here and uh, click save. The same procedure applies for the other variant. So let's copy the price, $20, paste it in the compared price field. And for this one, let's mm, sell it for, for $12. And let's save it. Uh, now let's go back and click on preview. As you can see there, a uh, product with a regular variant is on sale for $6. And the one which is, uh, with a large variant is on sale for $12. So this is that simple. Now, uh, should you want to remove the sale, it's also very easy to do. So go back to the product section and uh, once again let's click on edit and what you have to do is copy the compared price and paste it in the price field and make sure to set the compared price as zero and let's save it and let's do the same thing for the other variant copy twenty dollars paste into the price field and once again zero so Right now, the sale prices will be removed for both variants. And let's preview. As you can see, uh, the sale prices are no longer available. So I hope you found this tutorial useful. And for more Shopify tutorials, please ensure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you.